What is that? What's up? What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremiah two times. Talk to me nice, say it twice. That hat backwards bandit, man. And today, I'm coming back with another story time. Cause you know what I thought about? I done told y'all about boot camp, A school, all that good stuff, right? And I didn't even tell y'all how I get into the Navy in the first place. I'm tripping. But look, we are gonna jump straight into this thing, man. So before I got into the Navy, man, you know, I was in and out of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Here and there, I was about everywhere getting into to just the wrong thing, right? Let's just say that, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I was on a little probation for a little stuff, a little something, something, you know? And when I got off of probation, I was like, man, I need, a, I need a change of scenery. I need a whole new leaf. I need a whole new start, right? Restart, you feel me? So, you know, at first, you know, my parents were both in the Air Force. So my first, you know, uh, first suggestion was, let me go to the Air Force, right? So I go to the little um, recruiting station, right? Over there on uh, Camp Creek by, uh, what is that? What's that mall called? It's some mall, but South Lake. By South Lake Mall, I went over there, you know, trying to get into the Air Force and anything like that. I brought my uh, paperwork and stuff like that. And um, this is exactly, exa I, I kid you not, this is exactly how the recruiters read my paperwork and just pretty much BS'd me on my whole thing. Well, Mr. Joseph, is Mr. Joseph, okay, as we see here, from the extent of your prior charges, we mm, it's gonna be a little mm, a little difficult for you to mm, get in. It's gonna take a little time. You'll have to sign this paperwork and um some other paperwork, and then it won't even say that you'll all the way get in, sir. So um, so boom, that's how they doing me, right? They like well. You know, I don't know if we gon' boom, boom, boom. I'm sort of just like, bruh, can I get in or not, bruh? You know what I'm saying? Like, before I even take any type of test, they just out there doing me. So, you know what? I was like, forget that, right? Boom. I walk out. You know, I got this little pamphlet they gave you, you know what I'm saying? After he done told me, pretty much, you're not gonna get in. So, you know, I'm like, all right, whatever. And then I go over to the um, Navy guy, right? I walk in. They all like, hey, how you doing there, future sailor? Boom, bang, I'm like this. Okay, I like this, I like y'all vibe. I like y'all in me. I like that, right? I like this. I like this, made me feel accepted. Didn't even see the, the probation stuff yet. Made me feel accepted, right? So I get there, uh, his name was some Williams. I can't remember his, his rate, but I remember his last name was Williams, right? And um, over on Camp Creek too. So, you know, shout out to him, you feel me? So, um, you know, I get everything, you know, I let him know everything about my probation and everything. He seen paperwork. He like, man, that ain't nothing. He gets you in here. I'm like, you see your ass. That it up, man, you feel me? So, you know, they get everything like that set up. And this is in, um, this is in 2019, right? This is in 2019 when I got probation and everything like that and trying to get into the military. So, take my ass, grab, boom. I swear in everything like that. And I'm supposed to leave late, late 2019, right? And then um, this is when COVID start to hit, like it's starting to roll. You know what I'm saying? Like little, so nobody really care about it. Definitely not in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really care about it. Ain't nobody taking it serious, right? So, you know, I'm chilling. Boom, getting ready to leave. You know, I'm all excited, everything, telling everybody, I'm out of here, you feel what I'm saying? And, I get a phone call, right? Chilling at the crib, you know. Just got my hair cut off because I had a, a bigger afro. You know what I'm saying? Got my hair cut off. I'm like, boom, all right? I'm ready to go, ready to go, right? Get a phone call. Me, 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 me. Yeah, I'm not good at making a phone call, though. Me, 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 Hey there, Mr. Joseph. I'm like, hey. So what we're gonna do here is, what we're, we're calling you for is we're gonna push back your date to ship out. I'm like, huh? Like, yeah, we're going to ship it back. We, we're going to push it back, right, to, like, December 2019. I'm like, okay, cool. That's only, like, two months. That's cool. He's like, all right, talk to you later. I'm like, boom, all right, cool. December roll around, 
right? Well, it's about to roll. It's like a week or something from December. Bling, 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 bling. Hello? Hey there, Mr. Joseph. We're gonna have to push your date back again because COVID's getting even worse. And out there on those ships, people were catching COVID. So the ships were pretty much staying out there in the water until everybody was A-OK. -okay. And the demand for um, QMs, which is my job, it wasn't high. So they were like, well, why would we bring in more of them and we don't really need them right now? So that's why they continuously was pushing my date back. And I was like, man, you know, I'm kind of getting frustrated. But it, within them time spans where I was, you know, getting pushed back and everything, I was just doing stuff I had never did before. Started cliff diving. Um, I was just doing a lot of stuff. I don't know what had got me. Some, some type of bug or something got me because I was doing everything that I had never did before, right? So, you know, I'm going cliff diving, everything. I'm, I'm in this state, I'm in this state doing this, and this state doing that. And then, you know, that's when the riots and stuff like that, uh, the marches and everything, stuff like that started going on because all the police brutality stuff. So, you know, I'm at, I'm at this march, I'm at this protest, I'm cliff diving, I'm going here to do this, that, that, this, that, seeing this people, this, that people. And, um, you know, my date just continuously was getting pushed back. I keep getting phone calls. So, um, one time I was going cliff diving, we was up in uh, North Georgia. You know, I'm cut out by my cousins and a few of my other friends. And I'm trying to get a video for it, right? So I put my phone in a, in a Ziploc bag. And, like, to get to the place where we were cliff diving at, you had to swim across the river. And the river going like this. You feel me? The river going, and we got to swim like this. All right? <laughs> when I tell you, that was the hardest stuff on earth, right? Because the water one is freezing. Right, we the only black folks out there. All white people like, yeah, come on, dude, bro, come on, just swim across, bro. It's perfectly fine. I'm like this. Okay, fine. All right, we get in there because we could swim, but you know what I'm saying. We we more like intermediate level swimmers. Plus we black. You know what I'm saying. So, but I did do swimming classes. My grandma had put me in swimming classes when I was younger. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. I was a, I was a little. I was a little Michael Phelps out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the water. Doom. Doom. But what got me was the current. The current was like, come here. Get over here. And man, I'm talking about, I'm supposed to be swimming like this. Bro, I'm like this. Bro, bro, I'm going sideways still. I'm talking about, we all going sideways. It's like five of us just going sideways. What like that. We going like this. I'm like, oh man. Like, so eventually we get over there and everybody like pipe me up. Cause I'm the type of person like, I get hype off the energy. So if everybody vibe like, yeah, let's do it. I'm like, this. let's do it. Let's go, let's go. So I get up there, right? And I'm talking about, this is high. This jump is high. Like, <laughs> this, you know how you see something and you're like, oh, that ain't that bad. And then when you get up there, get to that point, you're like, oh, it's, it's way too, too late for me to turn around now, right? It was way too late for me to turn around. I got my phone, everybody down there with their little tube floaty thingies. And my cousin, all I'm looking at me, I done walked up there like I'm just that. Yeah, I'm that guy, right? Go up there. And I'm talking about, I'm shaking. I mean, I'm, I'm shaking like a stripper, but I'm in there going, just losing my mind. But I'm like, you know what? I got to do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying my two times, man. So I got to do it. They got to talk to me nice. You feel me? So I go, I run, and I jump. And they told me not to look down, but I looked down. And I said... I looked down, bro. I felt like I was gonna fall to my death. I, I was so scared. I'm talking. About I was so scared, like falling down. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> I'm holding the phone, but I'm like, ah. <laughs> right. Hit the water. Water freezing cold. I'm going deep down into the water, right? Cause I, I can hold my breath and swim and everything. So I'm, I'm going deeper down. I see turtles, fish. I'm like, oh god. Swim back up. Swim back up, and I'm like, okay. That was, that was kind of fun, right? It was scary, but it was kind of fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, boom. So at that point, we start running. We flipping off it. We flipping off it. We, man, I'm talking about all types of flying off of that thing. Thought we was birds. Getting ready to lead a nest, but we just on them up. <laughs> flying off that mug, right? Boom. So I'm trying to record it. And everything good, though. The phone didn't get wet. There's no water in the bag. Now... As the day starts, you know, as the day starts to go on, 
the currents start to get stronger. This is what we didn't calculate for. We didn't, we didn't think about this, right? So on the swim back, the currents got so strong that swimming in it was so tiresome that I got exhausted. My cousin, my little cousin got exhausted too. He grabs my ankle while swimming because he tired. He's like, I'm just going to hold on you, cuz. I didn't hear him say that. He grabs my ankle. I'm already tired. I'm running on fumes. So I'm running on E. Tired, right? Check engine light on. Bro, he grabbed my ankle. I thought it was something else. So I'm like, I'm gone. Bro, I'm just start flailing. I'm like, I know I'm gone. Whatever got me, got me good, right? I start moving. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we in the middle of the middle of the river middle of the thing right i start going like crazy right because the little the little thing because when we was swimming back they gave us these little float thingies so you know we put them on when he grabbed me the current wrapped the thing around my neck so i'm in the water i'm just like ooh, ooh, ooh. can't even really talk right and i'm like the phone moving around in the bag and eventually the, the opening for the bag opened up and water got in so eventually we get across, luckily, you know what I'm saying? And I'm looking at my phone and it's like, it's, it look weird. So I'm like, yeah, my phone finna die. I'm thinking it's just finna die. It dies, but then it had so much water in it. It messed up the whole phone. So, and I'm telling you this because it's just the way till I get later in the story, right? So phone messed up, everything like that. So I get a whole new phone like a couple days later cause I tried to get it fixed so I get the videos. <laughs> They was like, no, nah, it's all messed up. Like, you might as well just get a new phone. So I get a new phone, get a whole new number, everything. And, you know, I'm just chilling, vibing, doing my whole thing. Still going out adventuring, trying new stuff I've never done before, right? I get a phone call from my mom one day. And she like, hey, have you talked to your recruiter lately? I'm like, no. You know, because they keep putting me at my date. So, you know. And plus, I got a new phone. I complete, It completely escaped my mind and I was going to the Navy. Completely escaped my mind, right? And she was like, well, call him. He said, you leaving soon. I'm like, oh, shoot, right? I call him. He like, hey, Jeremiah. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Right? He like, yeah, you leave like next week. I was like, huh? He's like, yeah, you leave next, next, like next week, right? I was leaving the first week of July. Like, <laughs> it didn't need no, no recollection of it, right? No nothing, right? Because I had got that new phone number. So I'm on the phone. I'm like, ah, oh, cool, right? But I'm st I ain't getting too happy because I'm telling you, they they continuously pushed it back. They they pushed it back like four five times. So I'm like, okay, cool, right? I go. I got my little shirt on. You know, I'm doo doo doo, and everything like that. And I go to the hotel, and I'm like, oh man, I'm actually leaving. Right, you go to the little military hotel that they set up for everybody to go the day before you end up taking your flight and everything. I'm like, cool. Wake up early in the morning, go to MEPS and everything like that. I'm like, man, this is cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited, right? Because you know, before you go, you go you you're in depth, you know what I'm saying, which is the delayed entry program. And you know, you show up every uh every every once every month or something like that. I didn't really go that much. I probably went twice, three times, maybe. And, um, you know, you go and they make you do like the Sailor's Creed, do like little stuff like that, little paperwork, just talk, you know, see how you're doing, living, you know what I'm saying, how you're feeling, how you're doing good, all that. And um, so I only went to three. I went to one, we did the Sailor's Creed. I went to another one, which was actually like a mega duck meeting, which were, excuse me, I'm so sorry. But, um, you know, you go. And um, you do this physical thing. So you run like a mile and a half on this little track. And, you know, you do your little push-ups, little sit-ups, everything, you know, little, little cute stuff, you know. You do all that, and they talk to you a bit some more. And, um, you know, I'm I'm more of an active person. So, you know, I ran track, you know, a little bit, play baseball, uh, stuff like that. So I was active. So when we went to run our mile and a half, I'm, like, booking it on that thing. I'm, good, good. Dude, I'm gone, right? You got some people that, that are like, you know, not as active, but you know, they going to the Navy. They like, I can't do it. Oh my God. Man, don't be that much gone, right? They're like, man, what you do? You ran track or something? Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, somewhat, a little bit, right? 
like, man, he was moving, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. Because they tell you that when you get to boot camp, you have a physical test that they'll give you a $2,000 bonus for. <laughs> so I'm like, boom, I want that, you know, $2,000 free money. You know what I'm saying? All I got to do is run and do push-ups. Come on now. Who don't want that money? Like, like if you go in knowing that they give you that and you, and you fail it, that's just on you. Because they tell you they will let you know way beforehand that they give you that $2,000 bonus. So if you don't prepare for that, I don't know what to tell you. I, I can't help you on that. Hold on now. Let me screw this over. Wait, this sun hitting me. Mm. Stop moving. All right. Yeah, all right, cool. So, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Just be prepared for all that stuff and be prepared for a little depth meeting that you go to. Like I said, they're they not really mandatory. I don't know how they how they doing wherever y'all at, so I'm not going to say that. Where I was at, it wasn't really like a mandatory thing because I didn't really go that much, right? But um, it's going to be a little stuff they're going to teach you, like uh, ranks, uh, rank and recognition, um, Sadler's Creed, little stuff like that. And I could say, I, I could, I can say, my recruiter was really cool. He was. He was a really cool dude, so I appreciate him. I ain't even really talked to him since I got out of boot camp. I should probably hit him up, though. Just say hey or something, right? Y'all don't even be replying to me, man. Y'all y'all just, y'all just so dirty. Y'all do me dirty. Y'all don't even reply. I ain't even really here or something, right? I'm just playing. I love y'all, man. But, yeah, man, so... You know, eventually the the whole my whole process for getting into the navy was it was something. You know what I'm saying? Definitely dealing with how the Air Force was trying to do me, like, oh yeah, they bougie, man. The Air Force bougie, man. They bougie. So all in all, I'm I'm glad that I went to the Navy because of, you know, even through all of the quarantine and all the other stuff that I've been through, I'm glad I you know, I'm I'm at where I'm at right now because you know, even with COVID dulling it down right now with how you can't hit certain ports and you can't really, it's, it's go back home and you got to do this two-week quarantine thing. I'm actually glad I'm here, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just like every other thing you're going to deal with in life, you got ups and downs. And when it's up, it's up. And when it's down, it's down. You feel what I'm saying? But you take it, you learn how to roll with the punches, man. Because it's just life at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So... Man, thank y'all for watching, you know what I'm saying? Just hearing me out on, you know what I'm saying, my process for joining the Navy and everything like that. You feel me? And, you know, before I end this video, I'm going to say this. For the people who taking going to take the ASVAB, because, you know, I had some people DM me. It was like, you know, can you give me some, you know, advice or tips on the ASVAB, right? I could say study, bro. Study. Because, yes, you got, like, your basic, you know, knowledge stuff that, you know what I'm saying, if you went to high school, you're going to know, all right? But then it, it gets to these questions where it's like mechanical, electronic, all this other stuff. And you can be like, what? So I can say study that stuff, bro. Like, you know, ASVAB for Dummies, uh, Quizlet, uh, you can go on Khan Academy. Look at that stuff, bro. Study that stuff, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying you got to be like a wizard at it, but it's better, you know, the higher you score, you get a cooler job, you know what I'm saying? Definitely for the Navy, stuff like that. Um, So definitely don't go in there blind. Do not go in there blind, because if you fail one time, you got to wait a good bit before you take it, and then you got to wait even longer. And then I think by that third time, you can't even take it no more or something like that. But definitely, man, study, study, bro. But I can't stress that enough to study. Please study. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, it's Jeremiah two times. Talk to me nice, say it twice. The hat backwards banded, man. And I'm out. Appreciate the watch.